United Airlines has approximately 600 airplanes with war on order. United has another 100 United Shuttle 737 warplanes armed and waiting to fly missions against Southwest Airlines. United Airlines gross revenues are about $14 billion per year, roughly seven times the gross revenues of Southwest Airlines. United Airlines has on hand over $1 billion in cash. Obviously, it can fight a war against Southwest for an unlimited period of time, if it chooses to do so. In terms of size alone, United is truly Goliath, and Southwest is truly David. The fourth reason why I say that the United Shuttle is the gravest potential threat to Southwest Airlines since our beginnings is that the United Shuttle is focused on providing customer service quality superior to that of traditional mainline United and hopefully equal in quality to that of Southwest Airlines. United has taken public opinion surveys as to the good and the not so good points of Southwest Airlines in the opinion of the public. United has surveyed Southwest's own customers deplaning from our aircraft as to what they regard as the good and not so good points of Southwest Airlines in the opinion of our own customers. United employees have flown our flights extensively in order to study the way that we operate and the way that we serve customers. According to a United internal document from among its 80,000 employees, United has handpicked and United has specifically designated the customer service and ramp agents for the United Shuttle. They will serve only the United Shuttle on a permanent basis. United Airlines is providing special training for its United Shuttle employees, including special cultural classes designed to imbue the United Shuttle employees with the equivalent of the Southwest spirit. United Airlines has been practicing shuttle operations between Sacramento and Los Angeles International Airport. The United Shuttle will offer first class seating it will offer assigned seating. It will offer rewards in United's Globe Girdling Mileage Plus Frequent Flyer Program featuring Hawaii, Europe, Asia, and South America as destinations to which you can fly for free. The United Shuttle, unlike Southwest, will appear in every travel agency computer reservation system Authorizing, uh, offering computerized booking opportunities through direct access plus uh, automated ticket printing plus ticketless travel in November of this year. Insofar as intent, insofar as purpose, insofar as training, and insofar as practice are concerned, the United Shuttle is working hard to itself provide excellent customer service, distinct from that of traditional mainline United Airlines. Reason number five why I identify the United Shuttle as potentially a very grave threat is that if Southwest Airlines, if we permit the shuttle to achieve success, the United Shuttle will trigger a virtual hurricane a tornado, and a holocaust of short-haul, low-fare competition against Southwest by far larger carriers. And through the United Shuttle's own expansionary activities with those hundred airplanes in reserve that I referred to earlier. They have those hundred airplanes. They're waiting to take Southwest Airlines across our system if, if, the initial 
United Shuttle based assault is successful in California. If the United Shuttle is successful, that success will encourage Continental Light to become more aggressive against Southwest Airlines. If the United Shuttle is successful, that success will also encourage American Airlines and Delta Airlines to form their own low-cost, low-fare, short-haul operations. An alternative that both mega carriers, American and Delta, have previously studied but thus far rejected because they did not believe it could be successful. The United Shuttle is in effect, and in my mind at least, a potential conventional explosive triggering device for the equivalent of an airline industry nuclear war against Southwest Airlines. To summarize on the threat aspects of this, United is potentially a grave threat against Southwest Airlines for five reasons. One, it is targeted at Southwest Airlines. There is no doubt whatsoever about that. The United Shuttle will be a low-cost, low-fare operation, matching Southwest Airlines fares exactly on directly competitive routes. There is no question, there is no doubt, there is no discussion, there is no issue concerning that. United Airlines, thirdly, the progenitor of the United Shuttle, is a huge company with vast resources to fly, fight a prolonged war if it desires to do so. Fourth, the United Shuttle is focused on providing good quality service to its customers. Don't dismiss what United has done by way of selection of the employees, by way of training of the employees, by way of practicing the shuttle operation. The surest way to lose is to assume that we will achieve victory without total mobilization and wholehearted effort on our part. And fifth, an initial success by the United shuttle can trigger a vast airline industry onslaught against Southwest in our low fare, high frequency, short haul, point to point market niche. Why do I say that the United Shuttle potentially represents a grave threat to all of the people of Southwest Airlines? All of the people of Southwest Airlines. All of the people of Southwest Airlines. Do you hear the all? All of the people of Southwest Airlines. 